Okay, so magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. Okay, bati nyo ang katabi nyo ng Advance Merry Christmas. Tanangin nyo, may pamasko ka ba sa akin? <laughs> okay, alam ko itong Christmas maraming, uh, maraming activities. Unang-una sa lahat na isko rin i-welcome ang mga brothers and sisters natin sa... Uh, hello! Sa church ni Pastor Al, tama? Pastor Al, doon ka. Ano pa hala ulit ang church? Sorry. Pillar of Truth. Tama ba? Okay, so itong mga nasa harapan, kaway nga kayo. Kaway, kaway. Yes! At sa Sunday, welcome sa ano ha, sa Abit again. Nagbisita sila ngayon. I'm sure uh, meron ata sila mga order na t-shirts. Tama ba? Tapos sa uh, Sunday, makakasama din. Isa sila sa mga churches na makakasama natin sa Unify sa Sunday. Sino sa, sino sa inyo nag-invite na ng uh, mga kaklase, kaibigan, lolo, lola? <laughs> De, na, nag-invite na kayo so far sa Unify. Ayan, so sana ano invite kayo para talagang sabay-sabay nating maranasan ang presensya ni Lord. Especially this Christmas. Okay, surprise! Surprise gifts tayo ngayon. Okay, so last Friday, sinurprise tayo kayo ni Lord. Wala ako dito last Friday. Sa pamagitan ng buhay ni Joseph. At this time around, uh, there's going to be another surprise gift from God. Okay. <laughs> Pag, hindi, ako ma, hindi ako mahilig manood talaga ng sini. As in... Bihira. Siguro kung manood ako ng sine, kasi mahal siya, tapos syempre, wala kang magagawa kundi mag-stay in one place. Eh, medyo ADHD ako. So, sa bahay talaga, hindi, hindi ako, hindi ako makastay in one place. I, I'm multitask sa aking pag-iisip. So, nahihirapan ako, sa, lalo na sa bahay, na manood ng sine or manood ng movie. And secondly, mas mahirap sa akin manood ng Tagalog. Okay. Lalo na love story. <laughs> Kasi isip ko pare-pareng istorya. Ano nga eh, um, yung mga kasama ko sa bahay, kilala na ako. Di ba kayo nanonood ng movie para mag-relax? Ako hindi ako nare-relax. Para akong MTRCB o parang Film Academy of the Philippines or Oscars. So, parang ganun ako mag-isip. Hindi dahil gusto ko, parang natural na sa akin na ganun mag -isip. So therefore, Hindi talaga ako marunong manood. Ay, hindi talaga ako mahilig manood ng movies. Okay, usually pinapanood ko mga sci-fi, mga X-Men, yung mga Superman. Parang ano, para masaya lang. Gano ako kaya Veggie Tales. So, <laughs> yung mga Walt Disney lang, parang gano. Wala masaya na ako, parang hindi na ako mag-iisip masyado kasi ayoko na nag-iisip pa ba nanonood eh. Ngayon pag pinaisip mo ako, magiging critical na yung thinking ko. So, gano na ako. So that's me. Sorry, ah. Uh, Kanya-kanya magka, magka, tayo ng topak sa utak eh, di ba? <laughs> Pero nagulat ako isang gabi o isang araw, nakita ko may DVD kami nitong She's the One. Sino sa inyo nakapanood ng She's the One? Oh, yung mga boys, oh. <laughs> Nahiya pa eh, no? Pero ewan ko, marunong... Ma uh, nagulat ako may DVD kami at nagulat ako na si Pastor ang bumili. <laughs> Kasi, of all people, hindi mo may expect si Pastor manood ng Filipino movie na love story or whatever. Wala siya, mahilig siya sa ibang klaseng movies, okay? Mga action, mga gera, ganyan. Pero this one, sabi ko, nagulat ako. Sabi ko, oh, love, kanina to. Yan, pinili ko sa inyo ni Paul. Wala si Paul dito. <laughs> Para makanood kayo ng movie nyo. Kasi laging siya yung nanonood ng movie. Di sabi ko, talaga? Okay ba ito? Hindi, malay ko. Panuorin nyo. <laughs> so, bottom line, para hindi masayang ang pera, pinanood po namin. Sabi ko po, lalika, samahan mo ako. Dali tayo lang ang manunood nito. <laughs> so, nanood nga. in bottom line, it's a story of best friends. Sino sa may mga best friends? Mag-best friends si Bea, at saka si Kat. Ay, si Kat talagang. Si Kat, si Bea, tapos si Ding Dong, si Waki. Hindi na kalimutan ko yung pangalan ni Enrique Hill. Pero mag-best friend yung dalawa, si Bea at saka si Ding Dong. And then, to make the long story short, si Bea is falling in love with her best friend, si, si Ding Dong Dantes. And to make the matters worse, hindi siya pinapansin. Lahat ginagawa niya. Hindi ko natatanungin kung merong ganun dito ngayon. <laughs> Lahat ginagawa niya, talagang paglilingkod, pag... 
talagang ano, tinuturuan niya, correction, everything, pagmamahal, pagtitimpla ng kape, talagang almost a girlfriend, pero mag-best friend lang talaga, friend zone lang sila. So, yun yung nakakalungkot doon, na walang pumapansin sa pag-ibig na ino-offer ni Bea. So, alam nung barkada nila yon At minsan, si Bea nasiraan ng kotse at nakita siya, nagpapasabay si Enrique Hill na pogi at wow, love at first sight. So, kinuha siya ng video, ginawa nun, in-upload sa YouTube at nagsalita si Enrique Hill uh, sa video, sa YouTube, na sabi, Please help me find this beautiful lady. And ganyan, ganyan, talaga sobrang ilaw ako sa kanya, etc. So, nag-million hits yung, ano, yung uh, YouTube video na until si Ding Don assign na siya yung magkita, mag-blind date doon sa dalawa. So, bottom line, nung si, nung si Bea, natagpuan ni Enrique Hill, na nag-fall in love sa kanya, si Bea became a changed woman. So dahil sa kay Enrique Hill na may, may na pumili sa kanya na mahalin siya kahit sino pa siya, nagbago si Bea. Of course, alam naman natin na si Ding Dong, syempre dahil siya in bida, hindi <laughs> ko sasabihin ko sino nakatuluyan. So si Ding Dong pa rin nakatuluyan niya. So kayo na lang, panood na lang kayo. Pero parang ang point ng story is, <laughs> hindi pinili. <laughs> ano na yun? <laughs> Ay, spoiler ba? Alam nyo, love story, pare-pareho lang naman yan, yung bida, tsaka, di ba, kahit apa, ikot-ikotin mo pa, kaya nga ayoko manunood na. <laughs> Pinaiiyak ka lang sila rin naman pala, parang ganon. So anyway, parang ang point ng story is because pinili si Bea, ni Enrique Hill, nagbago siya. Okay, and of course, in the end, pinili na rin siya ni Ding Dong Dantes, at tunay na talagang naging happily ever after sila. Okay. Yun yung, yung point ng story. So, Mo, uh, sa buhay natin, um, marami tayong pinapahalagahang mga bagay. May mga pinipili tayo kasi naiisip natin yung mga bagay na yon o mga tao na yung magpapaligaya sa iyo. Diba? So, iba-iba tayo. Pag tinanong ko siguro isa-isa sa inyo, siguro sa tanong, ano, ano yung talaga magbibigay sa iyo ng kahalagahan sa buhay, magbibigay sa iyo ng happiness sa buhay, siguro iba-iba kayo ng sagot. Siguro na, na, na ano nyo na ito, sino sa inyo nag-DISC seminar? Ito ko sa mga personalities. Of course, I cannot explain it here, everything. Pero for some of you who are familiar with this, syempre yung D, siguro probably, sino sa inyo mga D? D, D, dominant personality. Probably when I say, what do you value in life? What makes you feel significant or important in life? Siguro sasabihin mo, probably, ay pag ano, talagang nagawa ko yung dapat gumagawa. Yung mga, ano ko, mga goals ko sa buhay, tapos kung ano yung ginagawa ko, kailangan may resulta. Importante naman yun, tama? Alam nga magawa ka ng gawa, wala naman resulta. So, the D people value results, value goals, purpose, ganyan. So, tama ba mga D? Oo. Oh, pag inalisan nyo ng purpose niya, mamamatay yung mga D, di ba? <laughs> so, ang I naman, sino rito mga I? Influencers. I. Nakalimutan nyo na yung personality nyo. O nahiya kayo. Ma Uy, mahiyain yung mga ay ngayon, in fairness. Nung nag-DIS, sila yung pinakamaingay. Influencers are people na talagang, uh, they are people-oriented. They love many, many crowds, many people. Diba? They, they, they are the life of the party. So therefore, ganito. Maybe if you are an I person, maybe you value yung popularity, you value many friends, you value kung anong tingin sa iyo ng mga tao, di ba? Pag medyo natutsugi ka publicly or matapapahiya ka, siguro parang tingin mo sa sarili mo, parang kang uod na gumagapang, di ba? Pag ganoon. So, for some of you are S, steady. Taas ako may mga steady, high S. O, pati yung ano nila? Ah, slow din eh. <laughs> steady people, uh, they love relationships. Hindi, isip nyo kagad, romantic, ano? <laughs> you love, ano, yung hindi kayo yung katulad ng I, gusto sa harapan. Yung S, gusto lang nila small group of friends na they are loyal until death do us part. Parang gano. <laughs> so, gano sila mga tahimik pero loyal, steady lang sila. Pagkausap mo sila, talagang mainhin lang in everything. Maybe if you are an S person, na you, pag merong nasisira sa mga relasyon mo sa mga friendships mo, 
You feel there is something wrong with you. You feel unimportant kapag hindi ka napapansin. Halimbawa, pag dito dumating ka, pag hindi ka napapansin o hindi ka nabate, hindi ka nakausap ng one-on-one, siguro feeling mo OP ka or parang, ay, hindi na siguro niya ako, friend. Hindi siguro ako ganun kahalaga sa kanya. Okay? So, probably you value the, yung talagang friendship sa buhay mo. You value your family. Now, for the C people, the compliant people, how many of you are compliant? Ayan. <laughs> compliant people, tas oriented din, pero in a quieter way. <laughs> compliant people, di ba, alam niyo naman na they love, they love to comply. <laughs> The standards of excellence, quality, talagang malinis, kailangan planchado, di ba? Walang malian as much as possible. Kaya usually, mga C, yan yung pagpinagawa mo. So, makakatulog ka sa gabi, naggagawin nila yan ng mahusay. Yun nga lang, hindi mo alam kailan matatapos. Pero mahusay. <laughs> Kasi sobrang pinaplancha ka, dalukot eh. Ganun silang gumawa. So probably if you are a compliant person, yung personality mo, C kayo, Siguro ano ang ang value mo may kinalaman siguro sa achievement sa buhay. 'Di ba? Ikaw ba yung pinakamatalino sa klase o may honor ka ba? Okay, o kaya uh, okay ba yung reputasyon mo sa mga tao? Do they see you as a good Christian or what? So siguro ano uh, if you are that kind of person, you value these things or these people. Okay? And you say you value them because pag wala sila o pag wala yung mga bagay na yun o hindi nangyari yung mga bagay na yun, you feel unimportant, you feel less significant, you feel like parang isang patak ka lang dito ng buhangin sa mundong ito. Parang you feel so little about yourself kapag hindi nangyari itong mga bagay na ito. Now, tonight, <laughs> kaya namamawis na nga <laughs> Yung Bible ko. <laughs> so tonight, we're going to talk about, in fact, Mary. Kilala niyo si Mary? Okay, may Mary ba rito? Bukod sa bienan ko. <laughs> we're going to talk about, when, 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 na, naalala ko nung, nung si Catholic ako, when, when I think about Mary, I used to pray to Mary, di ba, ginugal ko si Mary, most of the pictures are like this. <laughs> Yung flawless, di ba? Parang talagang, parang walang ano, parang walang pimple, parang nakagluta tayo, di ba? <laughs> Tapos ang tangos ang ilong, talagang, di ba? Parang ang bait-bait na gano'n, di ba? Parang, wow, parang ano, pure na pure and holy na, parang gano'n yung ano, because syempre, gano'n nila dinipik si Mary. Pero actually, Mary, we're going to know the real Mary. Gusto nyo ba makilala si Mary? <laughs> Okay, so we're going to know the real Mary. The, the real Mary is a Jewish teenager. How many teenagers do we have in this place? Teenager, huh? It's been 13, ganyan, ganyan. <laughs> okay, we're going to know her, biblically speaking. Alam niyo, may surprise gift sa kanya ang Panginoon. And I'm sure yung surprise gift ni Lord sa kanya during that time na she was a teenager is also God's gift to you tonight. Amen? Okay, so we're going to look at um, chapter, Luke chapter 1, 26 to 38. And the book of Luke um, is uh, the longest gospel in the, with the many chapters, longest chapters in uh, New Testament. Okay, so... Uh, usually, itong gospel na ito, kung i-compare nyo sa, isang, sa ibang gospel, Matthew is focusing on the Jews para i-prove that Jesus is the Messiah. Tapos si Mark, pinuprove niya Jesus is the servant of God. Okay, kaya mabili si Mark, young people siya. <laughs> okay, katulad nyo, nagsulot ng gospel. And John, on the other hand, tinatalaki naman to every Sunday, the John was the last gospel that was written to prove that Jesus is the Son of God. Now, Luke has a different purpose. Ang goal ni Luke, when he was writing the gospel, his gospel, according to the guidance of the Holy Spirit, is to give a chronological order of what had happened. Inimbestigahan niya, sinoko niya, in-NBI niya. <laughs> Lahat tinanong niya, wala kasi siya nung nandito si Jesus eh. No, he was not a personal eyewitness of Jesus. 
uh, disipulo siya ni Paul. So therefore, lahat to inimbestigahan niya. Yung mga apostles na tayo, tinanong niya yon, including Mary, probably, and including the first disciples or church nun time na yon. So si Luke medyo, kasi si Luke, doktor siya, high C. Okay, so therefore, ang haba nung kanyang gospel because he was giving a chronological order ng, ng, ng nangyari tungkol sa buhay ni Kristo. And if you want to know what happened to the original Christmas, read the gospel of Luke also. And you will see how it happened. Okay, so we're going to answer the question, what is God's surprise gift for you tonight? Are you expecting that? To, to receive that gift ngayon? Amen? Amen. So let's pray. Father, we, we ask for your Holy Spirit to just come upon us and <clears throat> overshadow us with your love and with your wisdom para maunawaan namin yung buhay ni Mary and in relation to who you are in our lives right now. May we also see kung ano yung surprise gift mo para sa aming lahat. Lord, we receive it by faith and we open our hearts by faith knowing na we came here with a purpose. And some of us who just came here, na not even knowing why he is here or she is here, I know, Lord God, that you will confirm in that person's heart yung purpose mo sa life niya. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. <clears throat> before before uh, we read the Gospel of Luke chapter 1, um, Yung mga pictures lahat ni Mary, ganyan na itsura. Pero actually, if you will, I mean, nakakita na kayo ng Middle Eastern, okay, hindi mo sila maputi, di ba? Usually, parang ano yan, eh, medyo brown. Kasi nga, syempre, di ba, agricultural sila, ganyan-ganyan. So, mainit doon. Have you been to Israel? Ako hindi pa. Pero sabi, <laughs> mainit daw doon, di ba? So, I hope na I can get, go there. So, pero ganito, um, ito yung mga pictures ni Mary na kuha ko. Ang ganda niya, no? Okay, kung lalaki ako, crush ko yan eh. <laughs> so, anyway, so sabi nga nun dito, in the sixth month, before this, before this particular verse, kinausap muna ni Lord si Zechariah. So, let me give you a background. Before the Gospels were written, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, of course, John, bandang huli na siya talaga. Before these Gospels were written, God was silent for 400 years. From the time na nag-speak siya in the book of Malachi, in 400 years na yon, silence si Lord. Walang new revelation. Just imagine. Old Testament lang meron sila. And this is being read in the synagogues or sa ano yung Torah na tinatawag nila. So, 400 years of silence. And uh, sa totoo lang, noong time na yon, they were under the Roman uh, government. So, ano sila? Merong naka... Naka, ano, nagru-rule sa kanila at that time, which is a wicked government, kumbaga hindi Christian government, or walang kinalaman mga, ano sila, mga pagano sila. And yet, out of the 400 years of silence, kinausap si Sikaraya first, and then si Mary yung pangalawa. Biro mo, nabasag yung silence, and this is what happened. In the six months of Elizabeth's pregnancy, talking about yung asawa ni Sikaraya, God sent the angel Gabriel. Kailan si angel Gabriel? <laughs> He's one of the archangels of God. So pag si archangel yung pinadala, sobrang importante yung mission angel na yon. Okay? To Nazareth, a town in Galilee. Why does Luke need to mention specifically the place? I think, he was emphasizing the fact that Mary came from a very not so famous, parang kumaga Nazareth. San yan? <laughs> parang ganon, di ba? Parang siguro lugar sa San Pedro, may lugar sa San Pedro na <laughs> hindi masyado kumaga talagang hindi masyado kilala. San yan, di ba? Ganon. Tapos in Galilee, a town in Galilee. So talagang medyo inano niya na, pinalakihan niya na para maisip ng readers, okay, a town in Galilee. And Galilee, usually known for not so good reputation. Usually, meron, ba mangga, meron nga nagsabi sa isa sa mga gospel, meron ba manggagaling na mabait o mabuting tao sa Galilee? Parang ganon. Parang, uy, galing ka sa Kiapo? Galing ka sa Tundo? Meron ba? <laughs> Kakatakot dyan. Di ba, minsan may mga lugar tayo. Ganun. Okay, dito sa San Pedro, anong lugar yung medyo, ha? Kuya ba? Yung ganon. Bukod sa binaba, ha? 
Diba, sabi nila maraming <laughs> droga nangyayari. So, nakakatakot ni isa pumunta, di ba? So, hindi, dito pa lang sa, sa pagkaka-story ni Luke, talagang pinapakita niya na sobrang walang kwenta <laughs> yung pinanggalingan. Tapos ito pa, to a virgin pledge to be married to a man named Joseph. A descendant of David, of course, narinig na ito po sa story ni Joseph, the virgin's name was Mary. Okay, so what's good about that? Ano bilang isang Jew, virgin, ibig sabihin, had no sexual relation, true love waits, pure factor, <laughs> okay, rated R, rated righteousness, yung mga umatin dito ng mga seminar niya, we are true, talagang virgin, wala sexual relations pa, virgin pa siya talaga, and her name is Mary. Okay, what's so important about that? Okay, I'll tell you later. Sabi nga nun dito, the angel went to her. Now, hindi naman, alam niyo, kasi minsan naisip natin pag angel, di ba? Parang, parang yung mga may lumilipad na malaking pakpak dyan, or kaya yung mga babies na kalahate, parang manananggal, malaki ang tiyan, parang may bulate, di ba? Tapos lilipad-lipad, kalbo, nakulot-kulot, di ba? <laughs> so naisip natin, in fact, pag sinabi angel, in the Jewish, in the Bible, ano, culture, Normal sa kanila ang mag-concept ng in geology angels, hindi mo normal sa kanila yan, yung pakik- nakaka-encounter na talaga nila yan. Kasi even in the Old Testament, so yung mga angels no araw, hindi yan parang mga parang cute, okay, na mga parang mga, <laughs> mga flawless na nakagluta tayo no whatever. Ang itsura ng mga angels talaga, mga macho yan, parang mga wrestler na malalaking tao. And this is, imagine ninyo, si Mary, okay? Yung mga gawain ng isang Jewish young lady noon, teenager, maybe she is now about 14, 15 years old. Kasi sa totoo lang, pag ang isang babae na hudyo, okay, pagdating ng 12, considered young adult na siya. And considered potential na siyang maging wife. Bata ka, no? So, yung love life noon, hindi katulad ng love life natin ngayon, di ba? Pag may nakita kang crush, uy, crush mo yan? Oo. Oh, Give mo naman sa akin number, oh. Kaya, paano ba? Pakilala mo naman ako, di ba? <laughs> Parang ano, crush ko ito, eh. So, papakilala, hello, ako po si Gina, ako si Franco, mga ganyan. So, kung sino gusto mo, yun ang liligawan mo. O kung gusto mo siya, sasagutin mo siya. Kung ayaw mo siya, hindi. Pero nung panahon na yun, Walang choice ang mga teenagers na babae. Yung mga parents ang nagkakasundo, ano ba tawag doon? Ha? O parang pinifiction marriage nila, pinagkakasundo sila, okay, kunyari ako yung parents, okay, so ikaw Mary, gusto ka namin mapangasawa mo si Joseph. Okay, so si Mary, whether type niya si Joseph o hindi, yes, siya doon dapat. <laughs> Okay, and ang mangyayari noon, they will be engaged for at least a year. And while during engagement, hindi sila walang sexual relation, walang premarital sex, they live in different separate houses, in their families, pero during the engagement period, considered husband and wife na sila. Pwede lang sila mag-sex after the kasal. Nag-gets nyo? Pero considered husband and wife na sila. So, yun ang context nito. Sabi nga noon, pumasok bigla yung angel. Imagine ninyo, mga rest, mukhang laki ng atap. Ng, ng, ano, siguro si Mary noong time na yun, nagluluto siguro, nagwawalis, nagsasampay, naglalaba, nags- <laughs> siguro nagluluto, kumakain. Ewan ko kung anong ni Mary noong time. Biglang umapir sa harapan niya o nag-enter siguro, Hello, greetings! <laughs> Diba, imaginein mo yung boses ng mga yan, diba? Greetings, ibig sabihin, rejoice and be glad. Ikaw ba naman, bigla naman, nananahimi ka 400 years of silence, diba? Ibig sabihin, walang kumakausap, nagaling sa langit, tapos biglang, greetings, rejoice and be glad. Rejoice and be glad. You who are highly favored, you who have been given God's grace, yun ang ibig sabihin sa Greek niyan. The Lord is with you. Imagine mo, teenager ka. Sino mo teenagers dito? 
Ah, uh, alimbawa si si Star, 'di ba? Teenager ka, yung kanina nakatay. 'Di ba? Si Star nagwawalis na ganyan kasi nutusan no nanay, nagpa-practice siya kasi mapapakasal na siya sa isang taon eh, do sa magiging asawa niya para si Mary, 'di ba? Tapos biglang umano, lumabas ang isang nilalang, Angel Gabriel, ang laki. Greetings, rejoice and be glad. Matuwa ka. Who? May surprise ako sa iyo. You are highly favored. God has given you his grace. And you know what? The Lord is with you. In fact, the word with you meaning the Lord is beside you. Suddenly, wow. How would you feel if if somebody parang an angel, 'di ba? Like si Gabriel na naranasan niya yan and This is the reason why, sabi ganon, Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. Ikaw ba naman? Hindi ka masyashak noon. <laughs> Di ba? Una, angel yung umapir sa'yo. Pangalawa, ano? Ano ka mo? Uh, are you talking to me? Baka may tao pang iba rito. Are you talking to me? I'm just an ordinary teenager ready to get married and probably have many children. Ganun lang ang gawain ng mga babae noon. Siguro mag, uh, mag-igib ng tubig, maglinis sa bahay, magluto, mag-alaga ng anak, and hopefully magkaapo, makita ko mga apo ko. Tapos noon, mamamatay na ako. Yun lang ang purpose ng isang ordinary Jewish girl. Sabi nga ng angels sa kanya, But the angel said to her, "Do not be afraid. Mary, you have found favor with God." Lagay niyo sarili niyo sa katauhan ni Maria noon. Wala naman siya magagawa, di ba? Sino ba siya? Pero sabi nga noon, huwag ka matakot. You have found grace from God. And this is what he said. Wow. Doon pala sa greeting, di ba? Woo. Ano ka na eh, siya ka na. Ang sabi nga noon dito, you will conceive and give birth to a son and you are to call him Jesus. Dali Lord. Ah, uh, son, uh, virgin, <laughs> okay, and then call him Jesus. Maybe when she heard the word Jesus, it means, it's another word for Yeshua, meaning Yahweh saves. So what? Uh, magkakaanak ako, pangalan niya Jesus, ibig sabihin, Yahweh saves. Wow, what is this? What is this? Is this a promised Messiah? Is this... Is this something to do? Yung hinihintay na ng Israel na gaganapin niya na the Messiah will come in. I can just wonder and think and imagine what Mary was thinking during this time. Pero wait, there's more. Kasi at that time, the, word, the name Jesus is just ordinary. But it, the meaning is, wow, it's a reminder of a long age promises of, promise of God sa, sa Israel na He is going to send a, send a Savior. Wait, there's more. Clarify ng angel. Kasi Jesus ka, ordinary name lang yon. No, He is not ordinary. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give Him the throne of His father David. Now, he is, the angel is now clarifying what kind of son he's going, she's going to conceive. And He will reign over Jacob's descendants Reminding him of the terms of the names of Jacob, David. Now, this, this is the Old Testament. The promise of God to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And his kingdom will never end. Wow. If you know the his- history of Israel, if you're a Jew, syempre, ano yan, kinukwento ng mga nanay mo, lola ng nanay mo, You know, nanay, nanay mo, pasapasahan yan eh. Alam nila as a people that they were um, nasakop sila ng iba't ibang kingdom. First, it was a Babylonian kingdom. It lasted for many years. And then the Persian kingdom. And they said na, the Persian kingdom, di ba, akala nila, yun na yung will reign forever and ever. Pero hindi, pinabagsak ni Lord. And then come the Greek kingdom, yung Greece. 
nag-rain din sa kanila. Kung baga, nag, ano din, sumakop din sa kanila. So, kaya nga merong, merong alam silang magsalita ng Greeks, eh. Ng Greek, diba? So, nandiyan din. Tapos, and then, here comes the Roman Empire. Sakop din sila. And who knows, akala nila, yun na yung kingdom that will reign forever and ever sa kanila. Siguro kung ako si Mary, kung ako lang, modern time, lagay ko dito. Lord, kung ako lang, ah, hindi ito sinabi ni Mary, pero I'm just, can just imagine my own way of thinking. Lord, ang tagal na yan. Ah. Parang lumang balita na, panis na. Ah, ang kingdom na naman, okay. Eh, eh, eh. Oh, lumang balita na yan. Totoo ba ito? Kung ako yun, ah, hindi si Mary, kung ako yun. No, parang misan, may nangyari sa buhay mo, parang wala ka nang feeling mo na nga, wala kang kwenta, wala ka significant sa mundong ito, nililiit ka ng mga tao, parang pinapagawa ka lang ng kung ano-ano na kailangan mo lang gawin. Tapos, uh, as far as your future is concerned, parang walang patutunguhan. Tapos nagpipray ka kay God. And then parang, Lord, narinig ko na yan eh. Narinig ko na yan eh. Narinig ko na yan eh. So di ba minsan parang nakaka-disappoint na, minsan nakakapanlumo na, nakaka-discourage na. Pag nangyari, but Mary was not like us. <laughs> Let's look at this. Yung sana, ang pangalan niya Jesus is not the ordinary Jesus that yung name ng mga kababata niya dyan or whoever, kundi Jesus according to the promised Messiah ng ating Panginoon. His kingdom will never reign. So, if you're Mary, siguro normal na tatanungin niyo ito. How will this be? Paano to? <clears throat> uh, Mary asked the angels, since I am a virgin, of course, this is not a sign of doubt. He believed yung sinabi ng angel, kaya lang iniisip ng logical mind niya, ah, uh, Virgin, uh, ayon sa biology, sperm cell, egg cell, lalaki, babae, kailangan, paano, bata, bata, paano ka ginawa, okay, paano yan, hindi ko alam paano mangyayari to. So, normal na question, di ba? Di ba pag may sinasabi sa iyo si Lord, anong una mong question? Naniniwala ka na? Doon sa sinasabi niya sa yung gagawin mo o gagawin niya sa buhay mo, pero ang next question mo, ah, Lord, ah, paano yun? <laughs> Paano yun, Lord? So, normal question. So, it's not, it's not bad to ask God question. Okay? When, when God wants to do something in your life, it's not a sign of unbelief. A God, kung halimbawa nagtatanong ka lang, you're just expressing yung mga questions mo, mga concern mo to God. Just like Mary, sabi nga nun dito. Kasi siguro iniisip niya ganito, okay, Pag nalaman ni Joseph, of course, alam mo yun na yung nangyari, naging desisyon ni Joseph, di ba? If you were here last Friday. Pero, bago pa ito si Joseph eh. Wala pang desisyon si John. Di pa alam ni Joseph to. Pag nalaman ni Joseph, nabuntis ako. Patay tayo dyan. <laughs> Unang-una, alam mo bilang, di ba sabi ko nga sa inyo, considered husband and wife na ang mga engaged. Therefore, He, she is being endangered to be stoned to death because that's considered adultery. Pag malaman ni Joseph na nabuntis siya, at si, siyempre pag hinalaan siya, sino nakabuntis sa iyo, okay? Normal lang naman yun, di ba? Tapos pangalawa, my goodness, di ba? Di siyempre, pag nalaman yun ni Joseph, broken hearted si Mary, di ba? Or silang dalawa, para hindi matutuloy yung kasal nila, di ba? So, di ba, ang hirap i-let go pag mahal mo isang tao, tama? Okay, so yung iba, wala, hindi nila alam yan, bato puso, di ba? Kabinet ang mga puso, wala silang, wala kayong kinalaman niya sa mga love life niya. So, can you imagine the struggle, the the feelings of Mary at the time? Tapos, siguro iniisip din niya, syempre pag nagbuntis ka, alam nga naman maitatago mo yon for nine months. Guro sa first three months, pwede pa, di ba? Pero sa pag fourth month, hanggang nine month, hindi mo na maitatago yon So, ang gawain ng mga babae nung araw, mag-igib ng tubig. Nalala niyo yung Samaritan woman? Hindi ang gawain ng lalaki, gawain ng mga babae. Buti na lang, di tayo nabuhay nung panahon na yun, ha? <laughs> Kung hindi, just ko. Diba? Kaya malalaki maasal ng mga Middle Eastern, <laughs> na babae, malalaking babae sila. Anyway, imagine niyo di ba? Mag-igib siya ng tubig, tapos, uy, lumalaki yung tiyan niya, no? 
Grabe, ano kaya nakain yan? Pakwan? <laughs> Nilunok? <laughs> ano nangyari dyan? May bulati ba yan? O whatever. So, hindi, syempre, pag chichismisan, yung reputasyon niya was at stake. Right? Wow. So, yung dating Mary, natahimik ang buhay, gawa lang ng gawa sa bahay, nagpa-practice how to be a good wife, tinuturoan ni mami, okay, para pa nag na sila ni Joseph, alam niya na marahil yung mga household chores, No, suddenly, parang nag- magiging complicated. <laughs> Kaya sinabi niya sa, sa, sa angel, paano to? Virgin ako eh. Tapos, <laughs> so ano sabi ni angel Gabriel sa kanya? The angel answered, this is, nung binasa ko ito, grabe, with all the questions marahil sa isip ni Mary, with all the, Lord, I want, I want, I, I believe in your promises. I believe this is the fulfillment. Pero Lord, papano? This is what the Lord answered through the angel. The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come on you. The power of the Most High, who is God the Father, will overshadow you. Parang i-envelope siya ng power ni God the Father. So, the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, pupunta sa'yo to fulfill the greatest promise of all. Wow! Nung nga ako yan, sabi ko, imagine ko ako si Hannah, ako si Star, parang ganon, walang kamo, nag-algebra lang, di ba, nag-aalan trichromity, parang, tapos suddenly, God will tell me, you know what? I have a mission for you. I have a great purpose for you. You are not insignificant. Hindi totoo na nothing ka lang. You will just exist and just do what others are doing in order just to survive on planet Earth. I am a very special mission for you. You know what? Alam mo, kahit maraming ang question, kahit hindi mo alam lahat, kahit natatakot ka, hindi mo alam ang mga mangyari susunod. You know what? The Trinity will be behind you. Wow. Grabe. Siguro talaga ako ako sumi- <laughs> Speechless. Ito pa. Alam mo si Lord, sobra siyang mag-assure. Okay? You want more? There's more. Even Elizabeth, your relative, probably cousin niya ito kasi magpinsan si John the Baptist. Siguro first cousin niya ito, probably, kasi magkasin si John the Baptist siya kasi Jesus. is going to have a child in her old age. And she who, sa- who was said to be unable to conceive is in her six months. So, kilala ko to. Ay, sorry. Kilala ko to. Si Elizabeth, yung pinsan ko, ay, thunders na to. Ah. Wala na. Parang Abraham and ano to, Sarah to, hindi na pwede mga anak. Talagang, alam nyo, nung panahon noon, pag ikaw ay hindi magkaanak, parang sinumpa ka ng tadhana. Gets mo? Kus ngayon, maraming paraan siguro, o kaya hindi masyadong gano'n. Pero nung panahon nila, pag you are a barren person, you are a ano, parang ano ng ridicule. Okay? Source of ridicule. Talagang pinupuntiriya ka ng, ay, baog. Siguro. <laughs> ay. Okay, G- gano'n. So, isip niya, ano, ano ka mo, Angel? Yung pinsang kong, ano na, yung talagang... <laughs> Matanda na, okay silang mag-asawa. Six months na, nabuntis. Wow, siguro sa amin nung nasa isa ito meron, Lord, Lord, talaga wa. No word from God will ever fail. Sinabihan pa siya ng angel na isang promise na God will never fail you. The word of God will never fail. Kaya ang sagot ni Mary, I am the Lord's servant. Yung word the servant dito is the Greek word doulos, the lowest form of servant. Ewan ko sa Philippine history, hindi ko alam, aliping, ano yan. <laughs> yung pinaka lowest form, yung servant, may mga rang. Pero etong sinabi niya rito na salita, I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered, May your word to me be fulfilled. Then the angel left her. Wow. What a humble response. Because 
si Mary mismo na-realize niya. Nakaplano na yung buhay niya eh, pati nga mapapangasawa niya eh. Kaplano na lahat yun. I mean, she will just go through life. Okay, I'll just be a devout Jew, worshiping God, normal, ordinary life, teenager, what can I do? Okay. And then suddenly, the Lord chose her as one of His servants to fulfill. Wow! One of the, not the greatest promise of God, being conceived of a virgin, prophesied sa Isaiah chapter 6 or 9 yata yun, fulfill niya through her, yun na fulfill yung promise na yun na eto na, ang misiyas, finally, eto na, totoo na ito after 400 years of silence. Let me see. Okay, Mary, ikaw yung paglalagyan ko ng anak ko. And the, the, the Trinity will be behind you, with you, and for you to fulfill my promise not just for you, but yung pagsunod mo sa akin will benefit the whole mankind. Wow, imagine niyo what kind of value the Lord has placed upon this young teenager's life. Ta- tahimik na buhay, na- medyo naging complicated, pero my goodness, <laughs> what kind of promise is that? So therefore, young people, sometimes you're trying to hold on to things or to people, to relationship, to achievements. I mean, pag medyo may nangyayaring hindi ayon sa pinapahalagahan mo o expectation mo, parang tingin mo sa sarili mo, uud ka na lang, o kaya naririnig mo siguro sa mga parents mo, wala kang kwenta, o kaya mas magaling sa'yo ate mo, o kaya mas, ma, mas pogi sa'yo kuya mo, o yung bunso natin, mas nakakatawa kay sa'yo, ikaw, ang serious mo. Okay, whatever that is. Okay, minsan sa eskwelahan, yung, yung mga cellphone ng mga kaklase mo, puro iPhone. Samantaling ikaw, 32 ten, nag, nagigiba, nagigiba pa yung, yung, yung ano, pinaka-case niya, di ba? Yung pag, pag may tumawag sa'yo, wala na. Hindi mo na ma, ano, lobat na kagad. So, pa, <laughs> so may siguro pag kinocompare mo yung sarili mo sa iba, siguro isipin mo, ay, Ang talino niya, sana katulad din niya ako, siya suma cum laude, o kuma cum laude. <laughs> Mga piyo pirito. <laughs> uh, blue pere, no? kuma cum laude, <laughs> parang ganyan. Ano? So, naku, eh, dahil hindi ako ganun, baka hindi naman ako, well, ano bang papel ko sa kingdom of God? Siguro, ano lang, pa, linis-linis lang dyan, okay na yan sa akin. O kaya ikaw yung ta- tipo ng personality, hindi ka naman maboka, mahiyain ka. Sino sa inyo mga mahiyain? <laughs> Sabi ko, sino sa inyo mahiyain? <laughs> Para naman, di credible eh. <laughs> so, di ba? Di ba, iba ba tayo ng personality? Ikaw yung more silent type, introvert. So, pag bisa may mga tao, ah, pum- Ano mga ano ka pa, dumidiskarte ka pa, paano ka sisingit sa conversation? Samantalang iba, tulad nila kuya po, Uy, kamusta kayo? Feeling close ka aga, di ba? <laughs> so, minsan naisip mo, mga gamit ba ako ni Lord to win my classmates for Christ? I'm so quiet. Parang ano lang ako, takot ako masyado sa crowd. Pero I can talk one-on-one. Sometimes you you feel less of a person just because you don't have these things or you don't have this... Uh, Kilala mong tao, sikat. Gets mo? <laughs> Naalala ko nung munta kami sa Willow Creek. Di siyempre, di ba? Oo. Oh, di ba, first time, nakita ko yung mga authors ng book na I really, na idolize ko as far as Christianity is concerned. Doon si Bill Hybel, si John Ortberg. Oh, di wala kami ginawa ni Pastor, di ba? Pag picture taking kay Bill Hybel. At saka kay yung pogi ni John Ortberg. So, picture picture taking. Ah, si pastor ganyan, ha? So, uh, ano yun yung feeling mo? Nakatabi mo lang, ha? Nahingahang ka lang ni Bill Hybels, feeling mo important ka na. <laughs> Bakit? Kita niyo yan? Ako, naamoy ko si Bill Hybels. Inakbayan pa nga ako, eh. Ha? So, nakapicture pa nga ako, eh. So, minsan, if you feel close to some important people, you feel important yourself, pero pag hindi, mga kasama mo, mga madlam people lang. <laughs> Di ba? Pag nagugutom, fishbowl lang, tusok-tusok, di ba? <laughs> o kaya kwek-kwek lang dyan sa tabi-tabi, di ba? May free hepatitis, saka ano. <laughs> well, 
ay, mandar siya. Hindi ko pinapaandar yan. <laughs> okay. So again, just like Mary, ordinary buhay. Normal. Planado na nga eh, yung routines niya sa buhay. Pero suddenly, God came to her and had a surprise gift for her. So this is God's surprise gift for you. Yung true value mo comes from the one who chose you. It comes from God. And God is almighty. God is all-powerful. And more than that, God loves you unconditionally and accepts you for who you are. He does not play favorites. Hindi niya tinitingnan ang itsura mo panlabas. Ay, ito matangkad. Okay, gawin natin ano to. Pastor to, matangkad eh. Okay, matalino to. Okay, gawin natin leader to. Matalino eh. No. Hindi siya tumitingin sa panlabas. At lalo na, pag si Kristo, pinapasok mo sa buhay mo at nanampalataya ka sa Kanya, you become one of His precious children. Na mahal niya, magpakailan pa man, at yung pag-ibig na yon, hindi na dadagdagan, hindi na babawasan, parehong pareho, because pag tinignan ka niya, yung value niya, yung presyo mo, priceless. Because the value that He has placed in you is the value of His Son, Jesus Christ, na ibinigay ang buhay niya para sa iyo. Amen? Kaya nga si Mary, cannot imagine, this, pumunta siya kay Elizabeth, tumakbo siya kagad, hindi ko na, hindi ko na babasahin yung verse na yon. Nung, nung narinig niya ito, Lord, gamitin mo ako at Lord, kung ano yung sinabi mo, may it be fulfilled. I'm your servant. Nung sinabmit niya yung buhay niya kay Lord. Kaya nung bumisita siya kay Elizabeth, di ba alam niya yung nangyari, no? Di ba, nagkita sila, uy, six months now. Pero nagkita sila, si Elizabeth, of course, di ko tatanungin sino na buntis. <laughs> Wala ka na buntis dito, di ba? Ako na buntis na ako. Gumagalaw yung baby, di ba? O kaya siguro kung may kapatid kayong maliit, yung nanay niyo buntis, Na ano niya na, nahipo niya yung mga buntis na babae. Tapos pag gumagalaw yung baby, di ba? Makikita niyo, may si, si, si J.I. No, nung maliit siya, nung baby pa lang. Ewan ko, nung, nung baby pa lang yan, dancer na. Alam niyo bakit? Para yan si pa. Talaga. <laughs> ah, gumaga- yung kamay, nakikita ko sa chunk ko. Kaya tuwan-tuwa, si J.D. ginagano. Minsan ilalagay ni J.D. yung Tommy kang gano'n. Sa ibabaw, tapos gagalaw yung Tommy ka. Kasi si J.I. nag-iinat siguro. Kaya nagpa-practice na, take it to the... <laughs> <laughs> so, katulad na nangyari rito Filled si John the Baptist, six month old Nasa at siya ni Elizabeth Doon pa lang, the Spirit of God Filled John the Baptist as a baby And talagang nag for joy yung baby sa loob na ramandaman ni Elizabeth Nung nagkita sila mag-insan Oo oh, talaga, blessed are you amongst women And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus Of course, dati pinag, pinipray ko yun. <laughs> Alala ko nung nagpipray ako ng gano'n dati. Eh, sino ba nang galing sa inyo sa gano'n? Okay, dati nagpipray ako ng gano'n. Di ba, ano yun? 50? Okay, uh, 50, tas our father. Hindi ko na alam. So, alala ko na pa nagpipray ako ng gano'n. Di syempre, di ba, required. <laughs> required sa amin yun. Pag di kami nagpray, may palo kami. Tapos nakaluhod kami. Biro mo, nagpipray ka, nakaluhod ka. <laughs> so, pag nagpipray ako noon, ah, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord. Once and are down among women, blessed the fruit of thy womb, G. Talagang ano, nilalagpasan kong gano'n kasi dayaan pa eh. Kasi mo naman, 50, hindi ko kasi nagigets nun eh. Hindi ko gets. I was just performing my Christianity. I mean, religiously lang, conforming to rules, conforming to do's and don'ts and routines. Parang gano'n lang. Pero when I came to know Christ and when I read about the story of Mary, I was so excited Na buti na lang si Mary, nagpagamit sa Panginoon at buti na lang. Praise God si Mary, example ng isang servant ordinaryo, parang walang kwenta sa paningin ng mundo, pero God chose her to be the mother of His Son, Jesus Christ. Kaya naman nung, nung bago sila maghiwalay ni Elizabeth, eto yung magnificat. I will just read it through before we close in prayer. Eto yung famous na By the Spirit of God, sinabi ni Mary, ay ibig sabihin nagmagnifica, to glorify, to magnify, that's a Latin word. So ito sabi niya, this is 
This is yung response niya with everything that has happened so far sa life niya. My soul glorifies the Lord. And my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. Dito pa lang maitatama na yung maling theology that Mary is a co-savior of mankind. No. Si Mary, sinner din tulad natin. Amen? Sinner din, kailangan din niya na Savior. Amen? So, rejoices in God, my Savior, for He has been mindful of the humble state of His servant. Alam niyo yung ibig sabihin ng word, the mindful? Ibig sabihin yan, hindi yung, hindi yung ganito. Hindi yung look. Hindi ganon. Sinabing mindful, ganito si Lord. Tinignan si Mary and gazed upon Mary. Tinitigan. Parang ganun yung picture niya. Ibig sabihin talagang, Oh, I love Mary. I'm gonna love her. I'm gonna show her my plan of salvation. I'm gonna use her kahit wala. Hindi niya nga iniisip yung sarili niya. Sabi niya ganun dito, From now on, Now, look at this. From now on, all, Everybody say all. All, all generations will call me blessed. All gener- do, you, do you want to have a legacy like that? Na kahit patay ka na, tapos ka na sa mundong ito, pag naaalala yung pangalan mo, may isi- inalaw ni Lord na maisulat sa Biblia ang pangaran ng isang teenage lady na ang pangalan Mary, and then ginamit ang Panginoon, sabi niya, from now on, all generations will call me blessed for the mighty one. Ito reason, hindi dahil sa kanya, for the mighty one has done great things for me. Holy is His name. His mercy extends to those who fear Him from generation to generation. So, hindi lang siya yung mabible. Sabi niya gano'n, hindi. Lahat ng nag- may takot sa Diyos, tatawag sa Kanya, will also be blessed. That's a prophetic word from Mary. And then sabi niya, He has performed mighty deeds with His arm. He has scattered those who are proud in their innermost, inmost thoughts. Okay, that's a warning to those who are proud na parang feeling mo, you can run your life on your own. He has brought down rulers from their thrones and has lifted up the humble. You know what, pag may nababalitaan ako, minsan nanonood ako ng news, minsan it breaks my heart talaga. Pag nakaka-depress. Di ba yung mga nasa posisyon, sila yung nangurakot ng pera. Tama? O kaya matatalino, ginagamit ang Senado sa parang away sila doon sa Senado. Parang gano'n. Parang... Uh, tapos yung mga, mga bonuses daw ng mga GOCs, parang milyon-milyon, samantalang yung isa na pensionado, one-eight lang yung nare-receive niya. Hindi pa siya makapagpagamot. May mga sakit siya kung ano-ano. Di ba, may, I mean, kagabi na noon, ako talaga medyo may anger, tapos at the same time parang... Ano po, naging sabi ko na, Lord, dating ka na. Now na. <laughs> Parang gano'n, minsan yung prayer mo, di ba? Pag nawawala ka na ng hope. Pero this is a warning for, He has brought down rulers. Ako, I do not worry about those people na umaapi sa iyo. Kung meron mo nang bubuli sa iyo ngayon sa school, of course you pray na masave siya, pero kung magpapakatiga siya, mayabang, ma- nag-i-enjoy ngayon ang buhay, samantalang ikaw naglilingkod sa Panginoon, don't worry about these people. Don't worry about na they have everything, may mga... Brrr, pogi eh, di ba? Pampapogi, mga kotse, di ba? So ikaw hindi, ano? Pajak ka lang. <laughs> Tapos yung nagpapajak pa, hirap na hirap mag-ipajak dahil ang bigat mo, di ba? Anyway, so hindi ako nag-worry sa mga taong yon. Because sabi ni Lord, I have all the power to bring down rulers from their throne. But has lifted up the humble. Wow! Hindi mo kailangan mag-trying hard. To promote yourself. God will promote you at the right time if you will just be humble to Him. He has filled the hungry with good things but has sent the rich away empty. He has helped His servant Israel remembering to be merciful to Abraham and his descendants forever. Kasama ba tayo sa forever? Just as He promised our ancestors. Again, the Lord is teaching all of us that His surprise gift sa akin sa iyo ngayon, is to go back to the truth that your true value comes from the one. And His name is God. His name is Jesus. 
the one who chose you. Not because you're good enough, you are nice enough, you're religious enough, but because God has poured out His gracious gift to you. At pinili ka niya. Amen? Kaya na-imagine ko si Mary. Of course, hindi nag-end yung story ni Mary if, as she will read the gospel. Na-imagine ko, nanay ka, di ba? Lumalaki yung baby. Siyempre, pinanganak na in all. Of course, marami nangyari pa noon. Gusto papatay ni Herod. Kasi nga, narinig ni Herod, may pinanganak. Yung daming saya, ha, ha, yun ba, yun ba? Okay, so, alam ni Herod yun. So, pinapatay lahat ng two-year-old boys. Alam yung mga Roman soldiers at that time, when they kill, they really kill. <laughs> Wala silang tinitira. Okay. Imagine ko yung fear ni Mary, kalok ba, misaya to. Pero bakit ganito? Pero of course, the Lord delivered si Jesus, sila, sila nabuhay. Na imagine ko, pinapalaki si Jesus no Ano kaya, no? Well, grabe, kunyari nanay ako, son of God yung anak ko, di ba? Um, gusto mo magpray <laughs> Parang hirap, ano? Um, alam mo ba yung ano, Torah, yung Genesis, Exodus? Siguro parang... Eh, ko, ang hirap siguro, di ba? Eh, he is the Logos, di ba? He's the Word of God. He was there from the beginning. I can just imagine. Pero of course, that's the happy part. In fact, si Joseph, by the time na he turned 13, si Jesus, wala na story si Joseph. So sabi nila si Mary, naging widow at a very early age. Okay, pero nagkaanak pa sila ni, ni Joseph ng at least mga apat yung nakarecord sa Bible. So I can just imagine... Nung nasa crucifixion si Jesus, his son, his earthly son, of course. Wow. So imagine the pain and everything, di ba? And the, the fear. Of course, there was a time that she doubted together yung buong pamilya ni Jesus. Nireject nila si Jesus initially. Nag-doubt sila and everything. So, bottom line, house nakita niya ulit si Jesus rose again from the dead. Fulfillment of God's promise. Isa lang masasabi niya. I'm going to worship Him. As she was reflecting back, nangyari sa kanya, sa teenage girl, from the time she got older, nakita niya ang paano feel ni God yung plan of salvation until the book of Acts, nandun pa si Mary, tinayo ang church, sabi nga, I'm going to worship Him until I die. I'm going to worship Him. He is worthy of all my praise. He is worthy of Everything that He has entrusted to me, God's grace, lahat yon. hindi ko kailangan ipagyabang kasi naalala ko, wala naman ako talagang ipagyayabang in the first place. Pinili lang niya ako. That's why meron akong na-accomplish na purpose. It's all because of God's grace. Amen? Amen. In your seats right now, turn off the light, please. I want you to just spend a few minutes of thinking about, reflecting on what the Lord has given Mary, His precious gift. She knew she knew God out of His grace and love. Ikaw. Kamusta ka na? Maybe some of you right now, let me talk to one group of people right now. Maybe all your life or most of your life, you have been ridiculed, you have been bullied, you have been put down. By people, important yung opinion nila sa'yo. Either mga pamilya mo, magulang mo, kapatid mo, marahil boyfriend mo, kaibigan mo sa eskwela, teachers mo, coach mo sa sports, hindi ko alam. Siguro, all your life, parang, minsan nafe-feel mo, parang insignificant ka. Umaaten kang upbeat, o crowds like this, pero parang you're just one of the faces, nameless face, in the midst of a crowd. You don't feel important, iniisip mo, ano bang worth ko dito sa mundong ito? Why do I still breathe? Ano bang purpose ng life ko? God is telling you today or tonight I have a surprise gift for you you don't have to work for your worth or your value I can give it to you for free 
if you believe in my son Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior if you allow him to just enter your heart tonight and believe in him just like Mary she believed in her Lord and Savior Jesus Christ she acknowledged na sinner din siya kahit siguro trinay niya lahat na trinay niya lahat na maging mabuting Jewish young teenager pero ay alam niya na kailangan niya ng Savior if you are that person tonight this is a chance this Christmas season God wants to give you the greatest gift of all and that is yung kaligtasan mo at kahalagahan mo kay Kristo Jesus Walang price tag yun, kasi priceless yun. Now, I want to talk to some of you right now. Maybe Christian ka na, o hindi ka pa Christian, pero all your life, siguro nakita mo sa tatay mo, o sa ibang tao na importante sa iyo, na pwede ka naman makasurvive sa mundong ito. I mean, madiskarte kang tao, mabulakla ka magsalita, magaling ka mag-isip, Marahil matalino ka, marahil may kaya ka, marahil popular ka. You know what? God is telling you, this is a time for you to humble yourself before the mighty God. Creature ka lang. Creator si Jesus Christ. And just like Mary, she worshiped God all her life with all her flaws and failures. She continued to worship God with all her heart. Siguro ang yabang mo na dahil total buhay ka pa naman eh, masaya naman eh. Lahat ng pleasure siguro tinikpa mo na, droga, sex, parties. You think, you think, yung life mo ganun lang, God is telling you, before it's too late, humble yourself, under the mighty hand of God, repent from your pride and self-righteousness and surrender your life to God. I want you now to pray wherever you are and I'll just keep silent for a few minutes and just allow the Lord to speak to you right now. Meditate on God's grace sa iyo ngayon. Yung nakaraan mo, gano'n man kapangit yon. Marahil yung iba sa inyo rito, may mga kasalanan kayong ginawa o ginawa sa inyo ng ibang tao. Marahil inabuso kayo in the past. You feel dirty. You feel impure. You feel abused. You feel na parang may multo laging ganon sa, sa isip at puso mo. Ano man ang nakaraan mo, God is giving you a brand new start right now. And wants to interrupt the history ng buhay mo. Intervening in your life right now is going to make you out into a brand new person. Cleanse you from that past na nagohon sa na parang multo. Meditate on the amazing grace of God in your life and thank Him, worship Him. Yes, Why don't we all stand up ngayon and just like Mary? This is a familiar song, Amazing Grace. 
We revise lang ng konti ni Chris Tomlin. There is the same song. It's about the amazing grace of God. Maybe you have been hearing this song many times in the past. Familiar kayo dito. Pero this time, God wants you not just to utter words or lyrics or hum a tune. God wants you to worship Him from your heart na nakareceive ng surprise gift sa Kanya dahil mahal ka niya at pinili ka niyang maging mahalaga sa Kanyang harapan kahit sino ka pa. Why don't we just thank Him and worship Him for His amazing grace? Let's sing this song together. Friday night, by your grace, dinala mo kami rito. Lord, sa bawat isang young person na nandito, who feels very insignificant, who feels less important, who feels undervalued, Panginoon, lalo na nang siguro na, 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 na sinasabi sa kanila na ibang tao, Lord God, I just pray that this Christmas season, Just like Mary, yayakapin muli nila yung worth nila, yung true value nila in Christ alone, Panginoon. 
And it's not because sa anumang babuting ginawa namin o na-accomplish namin o kung sino kami, but because alone, by the grace of God, by the mercies of God, and by the love of God, pinili mo kami. Salamat po, Panginoon, na we have a purpose in life. May, may reason bakit pa kami buhay ngayon. Kahit ano pang nangyayari, mga pagsubok ngayon, sa buhay namin, may reason bakit humihinga pa kami ngayon. Lord God, yung reason na yun is to glorify you. My soul glorifies the Lord. Sinabi nga ni Mary. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you for your grace. In Jesus' name. Amen. And amen.